Airwire is one of the only companies in the commercial drone space not actually building drones. We're building electronic software and cloud services that power the drones. And we're doing that because we're trying to enable a whole ecosystem of companies building the drones, the sensors, the software, and the data analysis tools that enable drones to address a myriad of applications, agriculture, industrial inspection, wildlife conservation, but also applications that we can't even yet imagine. Aviation's been in my family a really long time. Both of my parents are pilots, my uncles, my cousins, my grandfather's even a pilot. And it's actually how my parents met. My dad was my mom's flight instructor, taught her to fly, and many years later would teach me to fly as well. My other passion is engineering. I've always loved building things ever since I was a little kid. And so I decided to go to MIT and get a degree in electrical engineering and computer science. My first job out of school was working on the development of the A160T Hummingbird, a 6,000 pound fully autonomous helicopter that went on to break the world record. It was one of the best teams of people I've ever worked with, many of which have since joined Airware. We've had to build a unique team because there's never been a company before that is doing aerospace and is doing web technologies, where a developer from Google is sitting next to somebody from Boeing. Businesses are looking for tools that can give them better access to information, keep people out of harm's way, increase the efficiency of their operations, and drones are that tool. People will grab a drone instead of a ladder to do a rooftop inspection for insurance adjusting. Or they'll grab a drone instead of driving a vehicle down a power line to see where the vegetation is encroaching on it. It's gonna take an entire ecosystem of companies. In five years, commercial drones will be part of our daily lives. And in 10 years, we won't even be able to imagine doing our jobs without them. <laughs>